This video is designed to help you understand the CBH ISCC Sustainability Grain Program and your commitments when taking part in the program. Whether you are new to the program or have participated in previous years, it is important to understand your obligations. To begin this journey, you will be asked to sign up by completing an ISCC self-declaration form. This online form is available in LoadNet. The form is your formal declaration, confirming that you understand and comply with all six principles of the ISCC program. The first is principle one, and it is focused on land use change. Inability to meet the requirements of principle one means you may not be eligible to participate in the ISCC program. With no available corrective actions that can satisfy this requirement, it is imperative growers understand the importance of this principle. So what is principle one? Simply put, principle one focuses on environmental protection and preservation. This means any high biodiversity and or carbon rich land, habitats for ecologically or culturally important species, declared high conservation value areas, protected areas designated by law or a nature protection authority. Farms are prohibited under ISCC from any land use change, the most common of which is land clearing. Any form of land clearing may result in a non-conformance to principle one. Even if the land clearing has appropriate local permits and approvals or was performed by previous landowners. Simply put, Land clearance is the clearing of any native bush or designated protection areas, highly biodiverse areas, within your property for cropping or other purposes. Example, roadways or buildings. Removal of a single tree or cultivated tree lines. For example, oil mallee, tagasasti, blue gums, or clearance for fire break, fence line repairs, or replacement is permitted under the ISCC requirements. We encourage you to contact our CBH ISCC compliance team for clarification if required. A non-conformance to principle one detected during an audit with the external certification body is considered a critical non-conformity, which can result in CBH grain having their ISCC certification withdrawn, which can directly impact our ability to meet customer contracts. This will not just involve suspending an individual grower, but could put CBH grain at risk of not being able to access the premium export markets through our ISCC certifications. So, we now know how important principle one is, how can you show if land use change has happened? Well, there's a few records you'll need for this process in the event of an on-farm audit. Maps of any owned and leased farmland. This includes the farm in its entirety. Example, cropping paddocks, pasture paddocks, fallow land, native bush, residential areas and water bodies. The maps need to show the boundaries of where the farmland starts and ends. These type of maps will give you the current state of land use for your farm. So, that is some of the records that might be required in an audit. Questions 2 and 3 on the ISCC self-declaration form cover the declaration that there has been no land conversion on or after the 1st of January 2008. But how do you go back in time? What if you didn't own the farm as far back as 2008? Google Earth allows you to view satellite images of your farm and access past images. This allows images to be compared and then see if any land has been cleared. Now, if this all seems a bit overwhelming, don't worry. CBH have additional resources available to assist in this assessment. CBH's Marketing and Trading Department have a designated compliance team who can investigate for you. If you have any questions on ISCC and want clarity on any of the principles, please email our ISCC compliance team or review other online resources on CBH's ISCC webpage. Our team is here to help.